What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to bring you a quick little impromptu video that I actually wasn't planning on doing and at that it is a couple days after Christmas. You may have a little bit of extra money right now or you may be doing more stuff from home or you're looking to get into a gaming uh, computer. So this is going to be a thousand dollar desktop computer that I would recommend purchasing currently right now in 2020, 2021. Uh, we're getting ready to go into a new year. Uh, but I've actually picked all the components here. This is stuff that I would personally pick and buy myself if I had $1,000 to purchase a PC right now. This is coming from if you're going to be building it yourself, which I recommend because it's pretty enjoyable. You can get to uh, you know play around with different components, uh, things that may be better for your needs. Uh, but this computer will be an all-around computer for gaming, uh, video editing, photo editing. Uh, it's probably way overkill if you're just doing stuff like Word or PowerPoint, Excel, something like that. But if you're looking into doing some gaming, maybe some content creation, or you just need a more powerful PC at home, uh, this is uh, something that I would uh, highly jump into and look at. So I'll put all the links below to purchase this if you'd like to purchase this, and I will... Uh, put screenshots up of each component and kind of why I picked that component. Uh, it's really early in the morning, so we'll see if we get through this. Got my cup of coffee to hopefully get it started. So it's another budget. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about how you could maybe shave a little bit off that or uh, increase your budget a little bit more if you wanted something different. So the first I like to start with is the processor. And that one with the Intel uh, 10400. Uh, this is a six core their new Intel uh, 10th gen processor, and there's not much special about it. Six cores, 12 threads, it is not a uh, overclockable, it's not a K-series, uh, but it'll run quiet, cool, uh, you get six cores, uh, and it is currently $159 on Amazon. Uh, the only thing is it's not in stock till late January, but uh, check out Micro Center, Best Buy, sometimes you can pick these up there. Um, it's a really good CPU for, for the price point. I looked at some of the AMD New Ryzen series ones, but they were more like $200, so I kind of put it out of budget. It does come with a CPU, CPU cooler. You can use that for now and upgrade your cooler down the line if you need to. Um, it's not gonna be the prettiest or the most fancy cooler out there, but it will actually work. And the next is gonna be a motherboard. You can get a motherboard with this. And I went with the MSI uh, Tomahawk. Yep, Mag B460 Tomahawk. This is not one of the uh, Z uh, more overclocking oriented motherboards, but it's a B series one. It has uh, basically everything you need. Two uh, PCIe slots for your, uh, if you want to do one graphics card and you need to throw a sound card or something else in there. Uh, it looks like you got at least two M.2 drives for M NVMe. I think they are both NVMe, um, but got four dim slots so this is a really good motherboard that you could actually do some overclocking on down the line if you wanted um, plenty of SATA ports uh, you get six SATA ports so it's it's a very good budget motherboard for $130 it's on sale right now again it's not in stock till January 6th but uh, it's a really good motherboard for the price point it's got good rear IO you got plenty of USB ports you got two LANs uh, 1.0 and 2.5 um, no Wi-Fi or anything like that, but again, you don't usually need that on a PC or a desktop PC, that is. So the next component is going to be, uh, I threw in a Z490 motherboard too from Gigabyte for $170 if you wanted to spend a little more, if you wanted to get an overclocked processor down the line, but I would say with the MSI one for now, uh, unless you really plan on upgrading this uh, in a couple years. Now for the RAM, this is the exact RAM I use, 16 gigabytes DDR4. Uh, the speed is 3200, so not super fast memory, but it works. Uh, and it is about $71 right now on Newegg. They have a deal on it. You can also get it at Micro Center for about $70. Uh, so I personally have this memory. It's cheap, it's black, it works fine. It's Corsair, so it's a good brand. Uh, I think it has a pretty good warranty on it, but it uh, doesn't say. Just get whatever RAM you want that you can find that's cheapest, it looks good in your system. Uh, I like that it's all black, very minimalistic. It does have some heat sinks on it. Uh, and I've really had good luck with that memory. I've had it for a long time, uh, probably five plus years now. I've had it for a decent amount of time. 
So the next is going to be your storage. So you need something to put everything on. And I went with, again, a product I personally have, and that is the WD NVMe uh, 500 gigabyte uh, solid state drive, uh, well, NVMe. Um, this is a Gen 3. Uh, again, you're getting the WD Black, which is, uh, they're more performance oriented over the WD Blue. Uh, and it's currently on sale for $60, which is a really good deal. Uh, the thing about storage is get at least 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and then you can always upgrade down the line. Um, that's what I usually recommend. So that's a really good deal. That's uh, $10 less than what I paid for it. I believe I paid $69 for it, where right now it's on sale for $59. Uh, you can also, if you would like, you could uh, get a one terabyte crucial standard SSD. They have those on sale for about $87, $88. But, I would stick with this one and then you can always throw another SSD in there down the line if you want or a standard hard drive if you wanted uh, more storage at a cheaper cost. So the next is going to be a power supply. I really wanted to get a Seasonic power supply and I spent a little bit more on the power supply than I typically do. Uh, I went with the EVGA Supernova. This is a 650 watt fully modular gold power supply. I don't recommend getting anything below gold because a power supply is something you buy and keep for 10 years. Uh, and this is currently $90 on uh, Newegg. Uh, if you can find a Seasonic for around $100, that would be another brand. Corsair is a good brand. Uh, but get a good quality power supply, something that's going to last you throughout the longevity of your system because you usually do not upgrade your power supply, especially even if you do system to system. Now, if you get a beefier GPU, uh, like a 3080 Ti or uh, 6800 XT, something that requires a lot more juice, you're obviously going to have to upgrade there. but Usually 650 is pretty good. I've had a 650 watt power supply in my system for a while and it's so far has done uh, pretty good, but try to get a gold one. You don't necessarily need full modular, but you, you might as well spend that a little bit of extra money for that little bit of efficiency down the line. Uh, and from what I've read, EVGA's power supplies are actually pretty good. And the next is a little controversial in that uh, it's gonna be the graphics card. I'm sure you're aware by now that graphics cards are near impossible to find so it's hard to recommend this but I gave a $400 budget so basically whatever you want for $400 personally if I could find one I would get a 3060 Ti and be done with it but they are near impossible to find sometimes you can find them at Micro Center if you check their website where they restock it especially during the week and you go there when they open uh, but just getting this uh, you know being able to pick it up today or order it on Amazon it's gonna be months before you can get this so if you have an old graphics card, you could use that, or you can just use uh, the Intel's processor. Does come with, uh, I believe it comes with, I believe it comes with uh, dedicated built-in graphics. I'm sorry, I'm looking this up here. I'm pretty sure it comes in with. Just make sure it does. But um, if you have an old power supply laying around, or you know, you can pick up a 3060 Ti, I would recommend that. The only other option I would recommend is check out EVGA's B stock because they do stock that fairly frequently. Uh, for example, they had a 980 Ti, which is what I have in my system right now, a couple days ago for like $249, which is a pretty good deal, I think, for a 980 Ti in this uh, day and age. So uh, that's about what I paid for mine, which I bought for EVGA B stock. So Check that out pretty frequently if you're okay with a refurbished card that only comes with a one-year warranty. I've had pretty good luck with, with buying from there, but again, you have a $400 budget, so take that $400 and get what graphics card you want. I would get a 3060 Ti and try to find one. An AMD uh, 5700 XT, uh, but those prices have really been inflated, so they're not the best bang for your buck for performance-wise, so I would just hold out, use the Intel uh, dedicated GPU uh, with the processor, or if you have one lying around, or you can get a cheap $30, $40 uh, GPU to just display a 1080p image until you can find a 3060 Ti. So that's what I would buy, and that's what the budget is for that. So now for case, this is um, something that's different for everyone, uh, but I have a $70 budget here and I went with the Fractal uh, Design Messify C. I went with the white because I really like white cases um, right now, so uh, I went with that and it is running $70 on new eggs, so that's what I would get there. And then I also added a $30 kicker if I had $30 left over, so 
Oh, boom. Baby's waking up. So I had a $30 left, and what I did is I lobbed the for two Noctua uh, 140 millimeter PWM Redux fans. So they're currently $15 right now, so you can get two of those. So that's it, guys. That is going to be my $1,000 recommended build. Again, I'm not an expert on this, but I love building computers and uh, picking out components is a part of that which I really enjoy. So if I was purchasing something right now, that's what I would get. Now the prices may fluctuate. So this is shot on, what day is it? December 27th? December 27th. So prices may go up and down and stock may go up and down. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, leave them below and I will get back to you. Uh, have a good rest of the day. Be safe out there. See you guys next time.